this dense collection of foliage is Albany Thicket. A form of scrubland found only in South Africa's Eastern Cape, the thicket is home to a great range of plant life. The shelter and nutrition provided by these plants attracts a vast array of wildlife. From some of the smallest creatures on the surface of the earth to the largest. African elephants move through the dense thicket with ease, picking paths where they exist and making them where they do not. The elephants spend much of their time in the thicket, which provides them with shelter from the wind and sun and a ready source of food. Each elephant can eat up to 140 kilograms of food a day and one plant that they particularly like is speckbroom. The elephants enjoy this so much that it is even sometimes known as elephant bush. Whilst the elephants are most comfortable in the dense foliage of the valleys, they are not the only large animals to make a home in the thicket. White rhinoceros live on the edge of the scrub. Here they can enjoy the shade and concealment provided by the thicket, without the need to move through the tightly packed and often thorny bushes. The rhinos also stay at the edge of the thicket as the grasses they eat only grow where the thicket is thinner. The open areas of thicket on the high ground between valleys also serve as a home to herds of various antelope. Like the rhinos, they largely graze on grasses, but rarely stray far from the protection of the thicket. There is good reason for antelope to stay near to the cover and protection of the thick bush. Lions also enjoy the shelter provided by patches of scrub, and the frequent patches of tree and bush provide them with excellent points from which to ambush their quarry. Normally though, the pride will seek the easiest option, hunting prey who avoid the dense thicket, like zebra and blue wildebeest. Red hartebeest are hunted by lions far less often than wildebeest. Smaller herds allow them to better use the thicket for concealment, and they rarely stray far from its edge when grazing. Interspersed amongst the thicket are countless termite mounds. These termites partially digest pieces of wood and use this to grow a fungus on which the entire colony survive. By decomposing dead wood, the termites shape the thicket every bit as much as the elephants carving its interior, or the rhinos cropping its edges. These are not the only creatures to be found in the Albany thicket, but they are a snapshot a glimpse of how much wildlife thrives in scrublands. Half of all Albany thicket has already been cleared, and scrubland, often seen as being useless, is under threat all over the world. It may seem like untidy wasteland to humans, but to so many other animals, it is simply home.